Christmas time at Quadrangle. Brought to you by CGNA Finance Leadership Program, the fastest route to completing the SIMA professional qualification. What I'm about to tell you could change your entire life. This is a place where you meet the world, a place that will inspire, challenge, and shape you. We stand on a path to discovering some of the greatest adventures of your life. It's a place where you learn how to be the best and sit back in awe as the people you meet inspire you to spread your wings, to reach higher, go further, laugh louder, and launch yourself with the right start into an extraordinary future which will take you places. Start your journey to a world of possibilities at UCL. We search the world for the finest things for you. Things like sun-kissed European berries. Rich chocolate from the world's best cocoa fields. And crisp cashews and fluffy marshmallows in a quirky Australian recipe.
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of God who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and made a place for us in the kingdom of his beloved Son, we welcome you. Grace to you and peace. We have come together at this season to proclaim and receive in our hearts the good news of the coming of God's kingdom of light. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate with confidence and joy the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we declare our hope in God's loving purpose, we pray for this painful world which waits for his second coming. We pray that may we may respond in penitence and faith to the glory of his kingdom, its works of justice, its promise of peace, its blessing and its hope. And as we seek to renew our commitment to God's loving purpose in Christ, we pray for all those who at this time specially need his comfort and protection, the sick in body, mind or spirit, those who suffer from loss of dignity or loss of hope, the cold, the hungry, the refugee and the homeless, the victims of poverty, injustice and oppression, victims and perpetrators of violence, those who face the future with fear or walk in the shadow of death, May God of his grace and mercy grant to all his people a new trust in his good providence, a new obedience to his sovereign word, and a new awareness of his redeeming love. We offer all these our prayers through the word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the words he himself has taught us, saying, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the Lord, when he comes, finds us watching and waiting 
that we may be made worthy to join the company of his saints in light. Amen. This lesson is taken from Genesis chapter 3 verses 18 to 15 and verses 17 to 18. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. 
He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you, you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. To Adam he said, Because you have listened to your wife, and ate fruit from the tree, about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat your food from it. All the days of your life, it will produce thorns and thistles for you. And you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since you were taken from it, for dust you are. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God.
The second lesson is taken from Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. This is the word of God. The third lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 and verses 6 and 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, 
Prince of Peace. Great will be his authority, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of God.
lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 4 and 6 to 9. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse <coughs> and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him and the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge for the poor and decide with equity for the oppressed of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. The wolf shall live with the lamb the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion will feed together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. Their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of God.
The fifth lesson is taken from St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 35 and 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the word of God.
The sixth lesson is taken from St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place in the guest room. This is the word of God.
The seventh lesson is taken from St. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 16. Now in that same region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. This is the word of God.
The eighth lesson is taken from Saint Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem asking, "Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star in the east and have come to pay him homage." When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, "In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet." And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. I by no means least among the rulers of Judah for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel Then Herod secretly called for Magi and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying Go and search diligently for the child and when you have found him bring me word so that i may also go and pay him homage when they had heard the king they set out and they are ahead of them when the star that they had seen in the east until it stopped over the place where the child was when they saw that the star had stopped they were overwhelmed with joy On entering the house they saw the child with Mary his mother and they knelt down and paid him homage then opening their treasure chests they offered him gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod they left for their own country by another road this is the word of god
The Gospel reading is taken from St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overtake it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, we come to your presence accepting your coming. We remember how you came to us 2,000 years ago as an infant. We acknowledge your coming to us always, and we are waiting for your coming again. As we wait for your coming, accept our praise and thanksgiving. Today, especially, we commend this academic institution into your hands. We thank and praise you for showering blessings upon this institution more than a century. Father, make this place a place of joy, love, and peace. Whoever comes to this place may experience your love, your joy to this, your children. As they face troubles and tribulations, challenges and chances of this world, make them realize that you are always with them to help them and to guide them. Now, Father, we commend all their future endeavors into your hands. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Silmanyana tikranta devidun ge samadane, devidun nao nanse ge putra u, apage swami u, Jesus Christus sanse, and then again may the prema kiri may the Kadulinungalamadanamalamilamiretum <laughs> Amen. Let 
us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Amen.